Yeah, it's definitely out the exact date. Definitely Monday morning. We watched the Super Bowl last night. Yep. We're gonna head out today, do a little bit of hunting, looking for some Lego, looking for some other stuff, just see what's around. There's a couple shops I've got lined up to take Ryan to. So yeah, we'll just see what Birmingham has to offer today. And then tomorrow we're gonna be heading up to Huntsville. So that'll be fun too. That's right, February 12th, that is today. So yeah, we'll see what February 12th has in store for us. All right, stop number one for the day is my local Kohl's. So we'll see what they have to offer. Ryan says it's not looking good so far. They have a UCS Razor Crest at my Kohl's. It's about six minutes from my house. It's just been sitting here. I got, got this for my nephews for Christmas. Black Widow and Captain America. Yeah. This is my first time being in here. So. Everything else feels normal, and the toy section's like this forgotten corner of the store to them now. Yeah, toy section was definitely a little bit depleted. Nothing new or exciting in there. I mean, the Razor Crest was exciting. It was just yeah. super random that there was a UCS Razor Crest in the Coles. Kind of so uh, we're not going to be picking up anything from Coles, but Ryan is heading over to look at rain jackets because it's raining today. So might be picking up a rain jacket to try and keep dry today. Ryan has officially joined team rain jacket for the day. This is nice. I, I never knew what it was like. <laughs> Picked up a little Columbia from the Coles. I'll never use another umbrella in my life. And now we are heading into the Sam's Club to see if they have anything. All right, so we popped into the Sam's Club. I remember that when Logan and I came in here a couple weeks ago that I saw the backs of some boxes as we were going through the store, but I never got to check it out in full. So we're now here, and uh, this is what we got. Eleven ninety one. Eleven, yeah, we got eleven ninety one for a Creator three in one birdhouse. Six ninety one. And six ninety one for the uh, Hulkbuster. And you bought this for full price. I did. How do you feel now? Well, I needed it for my Hall of Armor to go to the convention, so <laughs> not looking too great here at the Sam's Club. So hopefully we, hopefully we have some better luck. Uh, with our next few stores. All right, next stop on the Birmingham City Tour, Ollie's Bargain Outlet. We're in the Ollie's, and it looks like looks like we found some Black Series, some Marvel Legends. So we'll see if uh, we'll see if there's anything good worth picking up here. Some of they have some of the reissue Beast Wars Transformers. They got some Tigatrons. They have Pterosaurs. They also have a little retro card. White Vision, Orb Sand. Looks like, like it's seen better days. Definitely. Oh, another knockoff And they got some Black Series, Admiral Holdo, Zori Bliss, Ponda Baba, Saw Gerrera, Moff Tarkin, Skiff Lando, Emperor Palpatine, C3PO, Force Awakens, Han Solo. Ooh, we got Bush Leia. I did not end up picking up anything from Ollie's, but Ryan did find some Lego Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper books and uh, some Force Awakens books that he's gonna that he's gonna cop. All right, so we just got to Sasquatch. We're about to go in and just have ourselves a good time. Check. Yeah, so we're in our we're in our first big room here. Ryan's found a few things that he's I'm pretty sure he's gonna pick up. So they got a sealed. Trash compactor. We got a trash compactor. 60 bucks, 37 dollars. So yeah, so Ryan's gonna be picking those up, and I just saw that they have the uh, Robosen Optimus Prime in here. It's like the most uh, most sophisticated Transformers toy they've done so far, and they actually have them in here. Robosen Optimus Prime, so that's pretty dope. And this next room is the Star Wars room, and as you guys can see, there was plenty of Star Wars stuff to go around. Whether it was three and three quarters Clone Wars figures, vintage collection figures, Black Series figures, helmets, vehicles, just about anything and everything Star Wars that's been made over the last 20 plus years was probably in this room. I forgot how much stuff is in here. <laughs> yeah, it's really packed in. It's been a while. The next most impressive room in this store has to be the Funko Pop room. The shelves are literally overflowing onto the floor because they're packed with so many pops. And of course, the most impressive pops in this room are in these glass display cabinets in the back of the room. 
One of my favorites is this General Grievous pop, signed by the voice actor of General Grievous from Episode 3. This was probably my fourth or fifth time coming to Sasquatch since I've moved down to Birmingham, and this room gets better every time I visit. Moving to the back half of the store, we find more various Star Wars and Marvel action figures, as well as the comics. And on a display case on the back wall, we finally discovered even more Lego. And some fake Lego. There was a bunch of Mold King product in here as well, and Seth from the store was pointing out to us which was which. They also had a bunch of pre-built sets in some boxes right next to this display stand, but since none of them had their minifigures, they weren't nearly as appealing to us. So we just got done at Sasquatch, and uh, it was definitely a success, I would say. Uh, Ryan found a few sets they ended up picking up, so he found the uh, Death Star trash compactor, uh, found the Pirate Snub Fighter, uh, and then he picked up one more uh, that I can't remember now, but uh, yeah, he picked up three sets all sealed, um, so big success for him. I ended up picking up an Optimus Prime that I did not have. Um, gave me a really good deal on it, and the uh, Transformers were a really good deal, or the, uh, the Lego sets were a really good deal for Ryan as well, so uh, yeah, definitely a successful trip to Sasquatch. All right, so we are uh, heading into Walmart. The rain has returned, so the hoods are up. Gonna get a little food and uh, see what kind of stuff they got here as well. The Lego was looking pretty sparse in here. Well, scratch that. Everything was looking pretty sparse in here. Yeah, that's right. no, most of, like, it's like the colds where like, everything else is fine, and then you have the toy aisles that are just Yeah, neglected. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, so swinging a miss on Walmart. I'm going to try and get some food. Get, I'm going to get a sub from Subway. Ryan's going to see if they got the deli so we can get some chicken. And then, yeah, fingers crossed, and then the adventures will continue. All right, next on our list is Homewood Toy and Hobby. So we are in downtown Homewood right now. Just finished eating part of my sandwich. <laughs> Pulled me over for a little bit. I did say they'd have more than Walmart. This is substantial. Uh, yeah, you, like UCS, UCS Chewies? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, I don't think they have any early stuff. Got the Dune uh, Ornithopter. Purely guessing, they probably have Lego Direct, not Lego like third party to get set. Like all those problems, they could like theoretically get some early. Is my point. Tall neck for ninety three. I don't think I've ever seen this. John Deere was that Skitter? <laughs> Since when do you look for John Deere Lego product? <laughs> Ryan's getting the Ornithopter. See, he's got a lot of viewers that have been asking him to review it. He also wants to make some content with the with the cloth piece yes. from that one guy, so. It's fringe Star Wars. Yeah, there he's over here. This guy, oh, <laughs> look at that magnificent cloth piece. Got Zendaya in there, Timothy Chalamet. I mean, you got all the A-listers. So, Ryan did end up picking up the Ornithopter from Homewood, so that was a hit. And uh, now we're here to check out Learning Express. I don't think I've ever been to one. This is my first time, so hopefully they got some cool stuff. Some are bigger, some are smaller. This one seems pretty well All right, so we just walked out of Learning Express. That was a very quick visit. They had a little bit of Lego, not as much as uh, Homewood Toy and Hobby. They had a little bit, but nothing interesting, so no pickups for either of us at uh, Learning Express today. So we are finally back home after our uh, little tour of, oh, tour of Birmingham for the day. Obviously, I got my Transformer. Ryan picked up quite a bit. I got so much stuff. Right. Bad idea. <laughs> Should not have got this one. Ryan got, Ryan got quite a few things, but uh, I mean, I'm sure it'll all go to good use. So yeah, that's going to do it for us as far as our shopping for the day. And then uh, tomorrow, we'll be heading up to Huntsville uh, 
to check out some shops up there, so that should be fun too. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, and uh, today is Huntsville Day. So we're at a gas station, as you can see, at a marathon, uh, getting some gas, and then we will be heading up to Huntsville to check out the bricks and minifigs up there and check out a few other stores uh, that they've got around town. So it should be fun. So hour and a half later, and we have finally made it to Bricks and Minifigs Huntsville. The Bricks and Minifigs was about how I expected it to be, honestly. There were some things that I recognized from my previous visit, like these vintage Star Wars sets, and there weren't too many surprises as far as their Marvel selection goes either, save for one thing. That one thing being the incredible 2015 Lego Shield Helicarrier. There were a couple gems among the Star Wars minifigures, like the yellow skin Leia and Han Solo, but nothing that noteworthy when it came to the Marvel selection. But what I was really looking for were some of the Knights minifigures from the CMF series. Unfortunately, there were none to be had today. All right, so we just wrapped up here at uh, Bricks and Minifig. So first stop is done. I picked up a few things. I'll make sure to show those off a little bit later. Um, but I picked up a few things. Ryan ended up picking up the Helicarrier uh, for a friend. He said he's going to make a review on it, and then he's going to uh, sell it to another friend. So that's exciting, too. So stop number two that I have planned for us today is another Learning Express. We'll see if this one's any better than the one in Birmingham. And the answer to that question is kind of. That was almost as quick as our visit yesterday. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> not that great. I also realized I said um, I said that thirty-seven wasn't that bad, but I didn't realize thirty-seven was seven dollars over, not two dollars over. So yeah. Thirty-seven was that bad. Yeah. So they had the Optimus Prime still for one eighty, which was nice. Uh, they also had the new uh, Clone Trooper versus Battle Droid Battle Pack, but uh, as Ryan was mentioning. It was 37 bucks instead of 30. Too much. And uh, yeah, and I got a gift card, so I'm gonna get two of them on lego.com instead, because I have a gift card. So another easy pass for us for our second Learning Express. So we're at the Parkway Place. This is next on our list. A couple shops we can check out in here, and then I think we're also gonna go ahead and pick up some lunch while we're at it before we head to our next stop. That change robot. Change robot. That, <laughs> that changing robot. <laughs> He's rough. A little knock off Optimus Prime. Alright, 0 for 1 on Toy Kingdom. <laughs> so, the down escalator's working fine, but the up escalator's broken, so we're getting our steps in. Uh, we can check it out. Looks like some clothing and sneakers. I don't mind. Finish line. Get to our FYE. So we decided to stop into this Huntsville vintage shop. It wasn't on my list, but I'm really glad we checked it out because it had a ton of cool sneakers, vintage jerseys, and other really cool apparel. <laughs> Ooh, Danny and Tomlinson, that's nice. He was my favorite player growing up. Antonio right. Gates. All right, next up is FYE. Let's see what they got. Found some Black Series and some Marvel Legends. Of course, they got tons of Funko Pops. So I did actually end up finding something really dope. The uh, Black Series Darth Malgus, but they're asking a little too much. They want 60 for him, and he's selling for like 40 to 45, so gonna have to pass on Malgus, unfortunately. All right, so we're heading out of the FYE and going across the way to 7th Dimension. Looks like they have thousands of Funko Pops, so could be, could be promising. We'll see what else they got. 
This is an impressive collection of Funko Pops. All right, so we just left uh, Seventh Dimension. They had some pretty cool Funko Pops in there, but nothing that I was dying to have. So now we're in the food court about to get some lunch. Ryan is, of course, getting pizza from Sabaros. I think I'm probably gonna head down to a China Master and pick up something from there. So I'll meet back up with them when we get done. So we got some lunch. We, we popped around to a couple other uh, popped around to a couple shoe stores just to see what they had. Ryan's still on the hunt for his first pink lemonade Tatums. <laughs> no, yeah, no Lego with them all. No, uh, yeah, at least we got our lunch. Now we're gonna be heading out. I believe our next stop is gonna be Rocket City Toys. I saw some UCS sets on their Google Photos when I was looking it up, so hopefully they got something interesting. All right, next on the list, Rocket City Toys. Cantina. I did not. I do have the Sith Trooper Battle Pack. Got Rex, Cody, Mando. Also, shout out to Rocket City for having normal priced yeah. <laughs> battle packs. <laughs> Coruscant gunship. All right, we're done at Rocket City Toys. Uh, they did have a decent amount of Lego, way more than the entire mall, so uh, that was good. Yeah, they had some decent stuff. Um, Ryan picked up the Stormtrooper mech. He's thinking about building a, a mech of mechs, so that's part of his uh, project, so he picked that up. Um, so yeah, Rocket City is checked off, and I think we've got about three more stops, so uh, yeah, we're gonna be heading to our next destination. Our next stop is uh, The Deep, Comics, Games, and Toys. Looked like it might be pretty promising from some of the pictures, so uh, see what they got. They got any Transformers, might be doing some trades, so let's see what they got in store. So, apparently, there's some kind of Star Wars game that Ryan and I had never heard of before today. So, I got the uh, Star Wars Shatterpoint game. Looks like you got a ton of, like, buildable scenery and then character add-on packs. Count Dooku, Magna Guards, Jango Fett, Hello There pack that has Obi-Wan, Commander Cody, 212. Got the uh, Night Sisters, Mace Windu with Commander Pawns and some ARFs. So, yeah, we've never really heard of a uh, Shatterpoint before, but apparently it's a pretty cool game, I guess. And they got a bunch of stuff for it. Also, this is definitely one of the biggest stores that we've been in so far. Uh, but yeah, as Ryan has pointed out, uh, we have the V19 Torrent Fighter right there, and then we've also got down below. We've got the uh, ATST, and then we have the Clone Wars Republic fighter tank as well. So we just kind of stumbled onto some some heater sets right here. All right, so we're getting to the back of the store. Looks like there's a uh, Masters of the Universe. Getting into some Funko Pops, and then on this wall we've got the uh, we got DC figures. Looks like a little bit further down we got Black Series and Marvel Legends. So. Definitely running into some good stuff here. They got some of the new uh, Ahsoka Funko Pops. They got the Night Troopers. They got Balin back there. Captain Enoch, which is an entertainment exclusive. And some Earth exclusive. And then Shin Hattie as well. So they do have a little section of Transformers right here. Nothing, nothing crazy, but nice to see they at least are carrying some. And if you couldn't tell by the name of the store, they have tons of comics. Uh, no. Ryan couldn't resist. V19 Torrance coming home. Alright, I got this for good tax, 325. Can we stop going to stores now, please? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to spend money today. <laughs> I think, I think we... 
I think we have one more stop, but uh, shout out to The Deep, Comics, Games, and Toys. They had a ton of dope stuff. And uh, yeah, Ryan walking away with the V19 Torrent. I thought he might clean up, uh, clean house and take out the uh, the fighter tank and the ATST as well, but uh, he behaved, I guess. Showed a little restraint, only took home the V19 Torrent. So I think we got one more stop left. So let's check it out. I think I saw a picture that had some Lego on the Google Photos. Uh, but this is our this is our last stop for the day. Replay toys, unless we find something on the way back. But yeah, replay toys looks promising. So we'll see what they got. So we found ourselves the Star Wars corner. Found Ryan, chair. Ryan found his new <laughs> gaming chair, Queen Amidala. We got some dope helmets up top. Over this way, we got a ton of black series. We got the three and three quarters in the corner. We got a pretty dope little hunter cutout. Force effects lightsabers. And then apparently you can uh, make your own lightsaber as well. 100 bucks. Got all these super dope hot toys. And besides the hot toys, there were plenty of other very high quality busts and statues of various Star Wars characters in some of these display cases that you see here. I'm not sure what brand these are, so if someone could educate me in the comments, it'd be greatly appreciated. All right, so we just finished up at Replay. Uh, that was the last stop on our trip. They had some uh, they had some really cool stuff. They had a really nice Star Wars room. They had some really cool Star Wars products. Uh, didn't really have too much else. They had like three Lego sets. They had a they had a Technic car. They had a uh, they had a robotic set that was super sun faded box. Uh, so yeah, they didn't have a whole lot of Lego, but they did have some cool Star Wars and Marvel stuff. Uh, but we didn't end up picking up anything from here. So I think we're gonna head back to Birmingham. So we just pulled in back at my house uh, a little after five o'clock. And yeah, we just got back from Huntsville. So we are back in Birmingham area now. And uh, we're gonna freshen up and then we're gonna head to Texas Roadhouse for dinner. Uh, gonna get Logan. I believe we're gonna be meeting up with uh, Blackwell Bricks, uh, AKA Caleb uh, for dinner. He's gonna be driving up from Montgomery uh, so we can all just have a good time at dinner tonight. So, so I just got done building the uh, Spider-Man No Way Home Sandman set uh, that adds on to the Statue of Liberty final battle set that we got a little while back. Uh, Ryan and I were watching a little basketball. We were watching the uh, Suns and Kings game while I built that set. So yeah, it was just a nice way to end the visit. Uh, you know, building some Lego. Ryan was showing me some old photos on uh, brick shelf and stuff like that. So that was a good time just hanging out. Um, so yeah, it's been a great last few days, obviously with the convention and then uh, Ryan coming back over here so we could shop around Birmingham and Huntsville the last couple days. So, good morning everybody. It is Wednesday and uh, we are at the conclusion of our epic Lego journey that's been spanning the last about five days or so. Uh, Ryan just left uh, to head back to Florida. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of go back to business as usual now. Um, get back to the grind with, uh, with training, with football, with all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for tagging along with us for this journey and uh, I hope you guys enjoy all of the content that comes out of it. Peace.